Hey guys, Clint Shireman here with the Knopf Academy, coming to you from an attic. Um, today we're going to go over how to figure up how much insulation you need for a project. Um, the simplest answer is to measure it. If you aren't ready to go up in your attic yet, you might be able to measure the outside of the house um, or the rooms below where the attic is. Um, if you are in your attic and you're taking stock of what you have, like here we might need some, some vent baffles and, and other things in the attic. Um, if we know these dimensions, then while we're up here, we can count them off and figure up our square feet. So from one rafter here to the next is two feet. So I know each time I count one, I have two feet. So the number of rafters multiplied by two, same on our gable ends. If we know that framing, we can have the length and the width of the attic. If our attic is an odd shape, like here, for example, this house is an L, I'm going to take one dimension uh, and figure that up, and then I'm going to make uh, do the same thing with the other side. So I've got two rectangles. Again, if it's a really complex house and cut up, it might be easier just to measure the rooms that are below the attic. Once you have that, we need to know how much insulation thickness we need. So here, I've already measured it. Um, it's about six inches. I don't know the R value exactly, so uh, we take a general uh, R value of three. So six inches times R value of three is R18. If I wanna take this attic from an R18 to an R38, which is code here, uh, then I will need an R30 on top of it. So once we have all these dimensions, we then look at a coverage chart uh, and figure out the square footage we have uh, and the R value needed to cover that square feet for R30, uh, and we should get an exact number of bags for that. If we're insulating a wall, we need to know how much insulation we need for the total project, but we also need to know the dimensions of the wall itself. So here I have a nine foot high wall that's two by four thickness. So I want an R15 bat that's at least nine foot high. The easiest thing to do to figure out how much we need is bats are individual pieces, so we can come in and count the actual individual cavities and know if I have a span of 23, then I need 23 bats. Um, we could also figure up the square footage. This nine foot cavity has just under um, 11 square feet of material that would need to fill it. If it was an eight foot high cavity, it would have just under 10 feet of material needed to fill it if we were gonna use rolls. Uh, we could also, of course, measure the wall with a tape measure, or uh, if we count the cavities again, we know that uh, one, two, three makes four feet across and it's nine feet high, and we can figure that up. 